Hi guys and ladies, I stumbled upon a recipe online for catfish bites. They look delectable. Well, I'm no good at catching catfish and I don't know if I could catch one even if I tried, but I can usually catch bluegill. So what if we go for bluegill bites? <laughs> Let's go fishing. I'm gonna make my first cat right here off the dock. Let's go for bluegill using this tiny two inch grub on a 1 16th ounce silver jig head. I don't know where I bought these things, nor do I know the name of them. And I don't think it matters. The water is crystal clear so the fish will see it. I think they'll bite it too. Let's see. Look at this! I mean, this fish is massive. What a way to start off. Over nine inches. There you go. Oh, I'm lucky today. It's another nice big one and colorful too. Wow, pretty, pretty fish eight and two-thirds inches. Yeah. Nice. Nice! Ah, another nice bluegill. Look at that. I'm not catching them fast at all, but the ones that I catch are big. Oh, oh, almost took the rod out of my hand. Wow, what is this? Catfish. <laughs> Whoa, look. Woo. <laughs> look at that. Only eight and a half, but so fat. Wow. Broad shouldered. <laughs> I'm not that picky. All right, it's a bass. Very, very small. Let's see. Just over 10 and a half inches. This is the size we need to remove from the lake. Anything under 12 inches is good to remove. Read in the notes below why we need to remove small ones from the lake. Okay, another bluegill. Not very big, but hey, that's edible. Let's see. If it's over seven and a half inches, it's more than edible. Almost eight. Seven and three quarters. Yeah. That's a strange fish. What is this? Oh, it's a catfish. This time, I'm not kidding you. You guys wanted to see a catfish. I finally got a catfish. Oh my gosh. You guys have been asking for catfish. I don't like to fish for catfish. I don't know what I'm doing. But this is a nice one. Oh no. I was trying to get my hands up under his belly. And you saw it, the line broke. It was a nice catfish. That's about four, five, four pounds. Oh. 
I don't know what I would have done with that big catfish anyway. I've never filleted one before. It's similar to a regular fish, but I'd rather not fool with it. Stick with what I know best. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Ha ha! <laughs> back, back to what I'm familiar with. Almost eight and a half, not bad. There you go. <sighs> I think that's enough for today. Tonight, it's getting dark. Eight and two thirds. Another good fish. Well, it's the next day, and as you saw, we caught plenty of fish for our recipe. I'm only going to use the bluegill, but even so, looky here. We have almost a pound and a half of these really nice bluegill fillets. But before we get to prepping them, let's try a yummy low-carb side dish. I've got a jumbo white onion here. Look how big this is. I'm chopping up some fresh thyme here. If you have the time, use fresh thyme. I'm just gonna cover the bottom of this large skillet with some olive oil, about three tablespoons, maybe four. Time to add our onions. And our peppers. I'm gonna let these go for like 20 minutes, uh, every now and then stirring them. I'm gonna add about a quarter teaspoon of salt, about the same amount of pepper. It's been 20 minutes and I've got here some balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna add like a good tablespoon. This is done. Look, just a little more salt and pepper. Let's bowl this up. I've got to taste some of this, hang on. Mmm, this is wonderful. I can taste the, the thyme just a bit. I can taste the vinegar, balsamic vinegar, and you know, the peppers and onions almost taste fruity. This is really good. Ah, gotta try it. How could you go wrong, peppers and onions? Before I eat this whole bowl, let's get on with the fish. I've got all our fish here, and all I'm going to try to do is chunk these up into like bite-sized pieces, maybe an inch and a half, two inches, I don't know. You know, I tried this recipe two ways, with and without an egg wash. It really doesn't matter much, so you could skip this step, but I'm just putting three eggs in here and I'm gonna make an egg wash. The uh, breading sticks just a little bit better if you have an egg wash. Here I've got two thirds of a cup of breadcrumbs. No, I don't have breadcrumbs. You know me, I'm on a low carb diet. These are ground pork rinds and not just any ground pork rinds, they're barbecued. Here I've got about the same two thirds cup of cornmeal. Uh, 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 you know me, it's not really cornmeal. It's golden flaxseed meal, very low in carbs, almost all fiber. Let's add that. Look what I've got here, Cajun seasoning. I'm gonna add whatever's left in this jar, probably. Ah, a tablespoon. I've got here a teaspoon of garlic powder. Here's what we have to do. I'm going to egg wash this up, drain it, and then into our breading mixture. Pat it down as usual, then into our holding plate. I'm gonna do that with every one. The last piece, here's a hint. Make the pieces bigger because it'll take you half a day. 
if you make them really small. Oh, I found one in there. I had to like almost double this breading. Just so you know, use a lot. I'm going to set our oven to 450. Look what I've got here. I had to use two trays, but I've got non-stick foil. I'm going to put them in a 450 oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. Let's see what happens. My French neighbors, the Coneheads, told me about this. It's called Remulac sauce. I'm going to fill this dish and then we're going to dip our fish in it. While our bluegill bites are roasting away in the oven, I ought to tell you, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is about to arrive here for dinner tonight. You probably already know that despite many decades of seeing each other, she, she doesn't seem to be interested in marriage. She may not understand the, the value of having a faithful husband at her side. If only I could show her the the steadfast devotion a husband like me could offer. It's been about 12 minutes. I think I'm late. Let's see what happened. Mmm. They smell great. It's hot, but I've got to try one in our Remulac sauce. Mmm. Mm. It's got some real crunchiness to it. A little heat from the Cajun seasoning, plenty of salt. I mean, you don't need any salt. This is great. This is, this is a good, good recipe. I'll do it again. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for uh, joining me at my poor paltry prefab. <laughs> and, um, you had a chance to consume my uh, caramelized onions and peppers. And what did you think? Oh, they were delicious and sweet and very well cooked. Yes. Oh, thank you they, so I love much. them, yes. They were thank sweet, yes. caramelized, yes. Very good. And then we had uh, barbecued bluegill bites. What did you think oh, of those? Oh, they were good. I liked the, the yeah. coating and they. I loved the sauce. Crunchy? Yes, and they were very crunchy. Yes. Yes, thank you. And then we had that uh, Remulac sauce. Yes, we did. Yeah. Yeah. That was tasty. It was. Miss Cheeks? Yes. Oh, uh, we've known each other long enough. I can call you Lulu. Sure, oh, of course. thank goodness. Uh, you, you know my buddy, Polly? Uh, do you realize that he's been in love with the same woman for 48 years? Uh, if his wife ever finds out, she's going to kill him. Huh? Oh, um, can I have a hug?